stop using Gemini Nano Banana Raw. I just found a hack that takes you from making fun images to being a professional AI creative designer in minutes. I've used AI every single day over the last two years, and I showcase it on this YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I've been using Gemini's new insane image model, and you don't need any fancy prompting. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we are now inside of Love Art, where we're actually gonna be using the new Gemini Nano Banana, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get extremely creative inside of this platform with this new image generation model. As you can see right here, we have this text box here with a couple different options for us to choose here. All right, so here's the prompt that we're actually gonna be giving to Love Art. So transform this cologne bottle into a stunning advertising photo that captures the sophisticated aesthetic style of classic cologne campaigns, feature the exact model shown in the attached photo, and then create the image using Gemini Nano Banana. And as you can see here, the two photos that I'm actually gonna be using are this Burberry Hero cologne bottle, as well as this photo of myself here. What I'm gonna do, I'm just literally gonna click submit here. Love Art's gonna begin spinning this up, and I'm gonna show you exactly Exactly how powerful this is here shortly. All right, so right off the bat, you can see that Love Art's thinking about this request. It's analyzing our images here. As you can see, this is the prompt for the image analyzer. It's now gonna actually create the plan on how to actually execute this task. And you can see that it is now calling this tool called Gemini Nano Banana because we have access to this image model as well as all of the different in image models we could think of, such as GPT Image, Flux, all these other things directly inside of Love Art. And we can combine all these together if we really want to. And just like that, we have this ad created by Love Art and the new Google Nano Banana. This is pretty cool. So Burberry Hero, it's that exact same bottle that I showed. And then the character consistency of this image is actually pretty solid. This looks like me compared to the image that we actually gave it. Real quickly, something I wanna mention is you could actually go and change a couple of different things here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this box, click on models. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unselect all of these and I only wanna use the Nano Banana image generation model. So that way it's not gonna go between all these different ones because Nano Banana is actually the best at this specific task. So right off the bat, let me quickly talk about Love Art and the user interface here and how we could actually interact with it. So we have this like canvas like plot. We have this canvas user interface here where we could actually like drag and drop images and you know, create images from this canvas. I could come over here, I could click on add to canvas. I could even add videos or I can add a frame. I could upload an image, all these different things. So why don't I just upload the images that I you know, originally started with so I have those as context. So right off the bat, here are the two images I gave it. Here's me and then here's that bottle. You can see that the consistency of the actual product is phenomenal. You can see it's the exact same bottle. I actually look pretty solid in terms of, you know, the character consistency. That is one thing about the Gemini Nano Banana model is it's very, very good at character consistency. So if you upload an image of yourself or of somebody specific, it will be able to actually carry that over to all the images that you generate. And we could even make small changes to this photo without changing the entire photo. So let me come up with a quick prompt here. All right, so to test this out, I'm basically saying, let's make the sunset shining through the windows of the background of our image. So I want the sunset to be shining in here. Let's see how good it is at actually being able to do this. And then from there, we're gonna create multiple different advertising images from this initial one that it gave us. Real quickly, while this is going through and actually doing this, we could actually generate videos from these images that we create inside of Love Art, inside the platform directly. So I could literally click on this and basically turn it into a video from there. So maybe that's something we test out later on in this video. All right, so just like that, our image is now updated you can see the only thing changed about this is there is that sunlight now shining in through the windows like we actually prompted it. I think I like this one better, but you can see how easy it is to instantly edit a specific image just by typing out what we wanna change about it. So far, I think this is a good start, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually generate three or four different images here, and I'm gonna choose which ones I like best for me to move forward with this. All right, so here are the images that were actually generated. I think some of these are pretty good. This one right here, you can see it's that exact same image that I actually uploaded. This this one right here, everything about it is exactly the same, aside from the fact that I'm actually holding up this Burberry cologne bottle, which is pretty cool. And again, this is the exact same bottle that I actually uploaded this, you know, with this image here. Next, we have this like more sophisticated looking image. This one's pretty good. This looks like this would be something actually in a, you know, cologne commercial or the advertisement or something like that. And then we also have this one too, that kind of makes me look like a little bit of a gangster a little bit, which is pretty funny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a couple edits to these real quickly. So for this one, what I actually wanna do is I'm gonna upscale this. One thing that I wanna mention, if you've ever used the Gemini Nano Banana or other image generation tools, the output isn't always like very sharp. So what we could do directly inside of Love Art and what makes this platform so impactful and useful for us is 
we're actually able to upscale it directly in the platform. So if I click on this image here, go up to this toolbar up top and just click this HD button, it will instantly upscale this image and make the quality of it much better. This is one reason why I actually love using LoveArt because it's not just an image generation tool. It really is a tool that actually acts as if you are a real designer and has all of these things baked into the platform. So you don't need to switch between all of these different tools because as a beginner, that's really difficult. Also bear with me, I'm almost done with this use case. We're gonna move on to a couple other ones right after this. All right, so upscale this image, it looks a bit clearer. This was taken on a film camera, so you can see it's already still blurry, but the bottle looks much, much better. It looks more HD now. So I actually tested out a little bit different of a prompt just to showcase in this video. And here's what it came up with for the four images I told it to generate. I really like these. I think these look pretty solid. This image of me looks pretty good. I think the bottle, I mean, this obviously looks great. I think this is a great image as well as some of these other ones. I basically said, create different angles of this model and this cologne bottle. And you can see it actually took a side profile image of me that looks kind of similar to me. And then it also has this one right here, as well as this one for multiple different options here. One more thing I wanna show you on this use case before we move on is how we could instantly expand an image using an image we already have. So let's say we wanna just like expand the you know landscape of this. We wanna like add some image up here. We wanna add something down here. We could instantly expand this by literally just clicking the expand button, clicking on our image, and then just clicking generate. And it will quickly in seconds expand this image for us. As well as if we wanna export any of these and actually save these photos, it's as easy as just clicking this download button. And now we have this entire image here that we could do whatever we want with. If you really think about this, this is pretty crazy because before, in order for us to do this, we'd actually have to sit down, hire a professional photographer to get all these images if we're trying to market our product or whatever we're trying to do. Now we could literally use AI in a tool like LoveArt to actually generate this for us. And just like that, we have our image expanded here. These aren't the exact tattoos I have, but makes sense because how would Gemini know what my tattoos look like? But that's pretty cool. I and mean, that's a Pretty cool use case. Now we could repurpose this for different formats and all that sort of stuff. All right, so this next use case hits pretty close to home because as you know, I make YouTube videos and creating thumbnails is an absolute pain. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I could actually copy this exact same thumbnail, but basically put this image of myself onto this thumbnail here and replace this image of this guy with me. So we're gonna be using the LoveArt Canvas feature. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna come down here and click the chat with Canvas button. And so I'm basically gonna take this pen and I'm gonna create an arrow right here, basically signaling that I wanna replace me with him. And then I could even come down here and play some text and basically say, take this image of me and replace the guy in the thumbnail with it. So basically we can make any of the edits we want to. We could you know, use the pencil, we could use text, kind of explaining what we wanna do. We could add different elements to a thumbnail or basically use this to basically recreate a thumbnail. What I'm next gonna do is I'm gonna click on the chat with Canvas button. I'm gonna highlight all of this and basically I'm gonna to come to this text box and explain what I'm trying to do here. All right, so here is my prompt. I'm basically saying take the image of me in number two, which is this image here, as you can see it's numbered and replace the guy in the thumbnail on the right, image number three with that image. Keep everything else the same. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add to queue. And what's gonna happen here now is I'm basically chatting with these instructions. So LoveArt said, okay, I'll replace the person in the right thumbnail with the person from the left. Everything else in the thumbnail will stay the same. I could reply here and it's not eating up my credits to actually generate the image. So I could get this as precise as I need so that it knows exactly what it needs to do, has the context and then could just implement it when I'm ready. So let's just say, let's make sure it is the same image of me on the left. Don't generate a different version of me. Instead, Im embed that image into the thumbnail. So I'm gonna click on next. I'm gonna see if that makes sense based on the LoveArt response. And it said, got it. I'll use the exact image of you from the left and embed it into the thumbnail. So now that that's all good to go, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click run all. So now it has context to that entire conversation we just had. And you can see it's actually beginning generating that image. All right, and just like that, it merged those two exact images together. You could see this is now this exact image of me from this example image here on this thumbnail. And it all did that in a, basically like two minutes. So what I could do now is I could even make different adjustments to this. I just wanna preface that I'm not just gonna copy this guy's thumbnail. I'm doing this for the sake of this video, but this is a great way for you to get ideas and actually take those ideas 
turn them into thumbnails. And that way you don't even need to hire a thumbnail designer, for example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on this image. I'm just gonna say, so take this exact thumbnail and change the 10K users text right here and change it to say vibe code. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on run and it should quickly make this edit to this thumbnail image here. And just like that, we have this exact same thumbnail from the previous one, but we changed the text to say vibe code and it used the exact same font as the previous one. Then what I could do is I could just quickly download this image. And now I have this thumbnail image that I created entirely with Love Art in minutes. All right, there we have have it. Now you can start taking advantage of the creativity that Nano Banana unlocks inside of Love Art. If you want to give it a try, there's a link in the description to sign up. With that being said, thank you for staying to the end of this video, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.